All right, we're on to module four. We're going to talk about the cycles of money, money cycles. We're going to start out in lesson one and talk about something very, very important, a concept that's near and dear to everybody's heart is work and the different definitions and really what encompasses work. And we're going to get into a lot of interesting things about that, okay? What is work? What do you believe about work? We get back to this value proposition issue, okay? Many people have a preconceived ability in their mind about what they think about work. Remember, 78% of Americans in studies now have said they hate their jobs. 78% of all those people out there serving you, every time you pick up a phone, you call your bank, you call somebody, those people hate their jobs. At least eight, almost eight out of 10 of them do, which is really a very sad scenario, but it affects all of us. It impacts everybody. So what is your value proposition at work on work itself. Now, here's a definition of work. It's an activity involving mental or physical effort done in order to achieve a purpose or a result. That is the definition of work. The second side of it is a mental or physical activity as a means of earning income or employment. Now, I must say that probably most of us in America are more connected to the second part, a mental or physical activity as a means of earning income or employment. Not too many of us are tied to that first part, which we should be, because that's what teamwork and everything is all about. That's what the creation side is all about. That's where all of the magnificent income is, is in definition number one. But we're focused on definition number two, and hopefully we can change that. So here's the deal. You have beliefs about work. Where did they come from? Remember, the same place the beliefs about money came from. Your beliefs about work came from your education. You were taught to get a good education and get what when it's over? A job. All a job is is monetized time. You work hard. You trade your time for money. Nothing wrong with that. However, it's not a pathway to financial independence. It's sort of an anchor in that sense because, again, Go way back, what did we say about time? Once spent, time is gone. So if you trade time for a fixed amount of money, there's no ability to earn any more money with that time. Does that make sense? So if you get $10 an hour, you can't turn it into $20 an hour because an hour is an hour. It's gone at the certain amount that you've, you've uh, approved for it. Then you move to retire, still trading money for time. When you retire, you're trading money for time. Now, can you really enjoy your life that way, following that belief pattern? Education, get a job, work hard, retire. Is that really the pathway to financial independence? But here's the value proposition. What's important about money to me? What's important about money to you? That's what we discussed. What's your purpose of earning? Okay, are you an employee? Are you an independent contractor? Are you a business owner? Are you an investor? Are you an entrepreneur? These are things that you need to define for yourself. You need to make sure where do you lie in that area. Now, in the Japanese, we talked about the samurai earlier. In the Japanese business philosophy, there's something called Kaizen. And basically what Kaizen simply means is big results come from many small changes accumulated over time. So the tiniest little changes that you make with rapidity, in consistency, give big results. So big results come from little things. Now, that's not really the way we're taught, is it? We don't see it that way. But the little things you do on a daily basis have big results when you add them all up. So here's your life. Your life is a work in progress. Every single day, if you're trading time for money, or if you're creating money with time, the use of leverage. You can't leverage trading time for money. It's impossible. But you can leverage creating money with time. And that's something you need to learn. That's something we're going to discuss in, in, in ad nauseum on the way through. But it's so true. Once you get that basic concept that you can't continue to trade time for money, that's a limitation. There's a ceiling. John Maxwell called it the law of the lid. The bottom line is you have to create wealth value with your time. That can grow exponentially. That can be leveraged.
All right, I look forward to seeing you in lesson two.